So first thing, pretty much, you're going to do is get your fabric. Um, I'm going to just be using some regular uh, denim pants that I no longer can fit and that I pretty much use to wear around the house. So I'm just going to find the spots that I want to cut my pieces out. And later on, I'm going to be actually bleaching parts of this. So, this is a side pattern of the boot. As you can see, those are the holes that go inside of the, um, the Timberland boot where the string, the shoe strings go. So, I'm just pretty much going to be placing the pattern here. I'm going to be actually making sure, too, that I uh, cut a little bit bigger than the actual pattern. So now I'm going to cut out the holes here. So here's another piece that I will be cutting out. This is pretty much for the bottom side of the Timberland boot. So here's the back piece for the boot. Here I'm cutting out the tongue of the shoe. Actually this is two pieces of fabric so I'm cutting out two of the tongues. So I am pretty much done cutting out all my pieces. So first things first, what I want to do is start on the side of the boot. Um, I'm going to bleach the um the denim, but I'm thinking I think I'm just trying to see if I should bleach it. I'm confused if I should bleach it before or bleach it after. Anyway, it goes with these custom shoes, especially dealing with bleach and um, denim. They're never going to come out 100% the same because once you put bleach on it, it's pretty much going to have a mind of its own as far as where the bleach actually stays, the way that it dries. And that's going to actually give it its full detailed look. But what I want to do, I guess what I can just go ahead and do is just start gluing the sides on. So I'm going to start with using the hot gun.
I'm using other types of glue too. But with this hot gun, you want to make sure that you hurry up and put the fabric on because it dries so freaking quickly. Now I'm laying the very top side of the fabric on, so i got to be quick about this again. So now I'm about to glue on the tongue. This is the tongue. So as you can see, I have covered um, the majority of the shoe with a boot with the denim fabric. Um, I'm going to go in and do some distress work, but of course I didn't do the toe yet. But um, if you want, after the distress, some of the distress is done. If you don't want to bleach it, you don't have to. You can leave it in its original form, whatever type of denim that you use. You can just leave it as is. But I'm going to go ahead and get into the toe section of this. Um, and as you can see, I've sewn along the areas that I know is easily um, pillable that comes off quick. I want to make sure that nothing comes off of this boot. Um. So I just cut like a little curve here just because I know that there was a curve here. I was trying to figure out like how would it look just flat and it didn't come across to me as looking too well so this curve um pretty much was developed i just traced it here and cut out the curve
Okay, so now I'm getting into the bleaching part. And um, it's good to have a protector. So I'm going to put like some plastic down. This is my bleach and water, so I diluted it already. Now there are particular spots that I got damn hair. There are particular spots that I want um, covered. Not the whole area, just some. I think I'm going to be doing a part two to this video just to show pretty much how um, the shoe is going to look once you put the bleach on the fabric instead of putting the glue on the shoe and then the fabric and then bleaching it. I want to bleach the fabric first before gluing it because I'm noticing of course there are some marks left on there which I can probably just clear up with some spray paint. Eventually, I'll do that on the shoe. Um, probably won't be doing that in the video. But the distress part, you pretty much want to use these nylon metal bristles from Walmart. Sanding paper. Um, of course, you're going to need your scissors, tweezers, blade. Let's get started. <laughs> 